Hi, I'm registered dietitian and nutritionist Wendy Wesley, and I'm here in the St. Petersburg Free Clinic Teaching Kitchen. And today we're going to talk about fiber and oatmeal cookies and really, really good GI health. So uh, this is a good one to pay attention to because happy people have happy GI and happy GI comes from fiber, which is all this beautiful food you see in front of me right here. And speaking of fiber, today I made a oatmeal cookie, which is um, also known as a fiber bomb. It, it, these are great. I've been making these for 15 years. This is my go-to, my favorite oatmeal cookie recipe. I put raisins in it, and today, the ones I made today, I put um, walnuts in. And so there's three ingredients in here that are very, very high in fiber. It's the oats, it's the raisins, and it's the walnuts. And um, these are just, just very, very nutrient dense. They taste great. I put cinnamon and ginger in them because I love a ginger cookie. And then I, um, uh, I'll i have the recipe below and all the ingredients below too. So the other reason I like this recipe a lot, this is my, my go-to cookie recipe, oatmeal cookie recipe, is that it only has a half stick of butter. Now this is a full stick, but uh, this recipe only has half a stick of butter. It also only has a half cup of sugar and a half cup of flour. So they really are getting their, um, the, the main ingredient of this cookie, the star of the show, is the oat, which is a very, very, very high, high fiber food. So the other thing I want to talk about today is staying healthy during this time, and that includes good GI health. Um, yeah, I'm going to go there today. I'm going to talk about three things to have um, healthy GI, and uh, that also means going to the bathroom every day or maybe even more than one time a day. And how do you do that? Three ways. Stay with me. Okay, one is movement. Um, one of the best ways to make sure that you are maintaining good GI health and you have a you have healthy um, bowel movements every day is to get up and move. And this doesn't mean go to the gym and lift weights for three hours or swim, uh, swim a mile or run a marathon. It really can just mean get up and walk around your neighborhood, um, take the dog for a walk, uh, take a bike ride, something like that. But you should try and move every single day. And I'd like you to get rid of this idea that exercise is all or nothing. You're either going to go all the way and do it perfect, get rid of perfectionism, kill perfectionism in your life, both in exercise and in the kitchen. Just get up and move. So that's the first thing is you should do every single day is move. The second thing you should do every day is hydrate because a healthy GI is a hydrated GI. And so water, 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 um, if you're a caffeine drinker, that can be dehydrating, so you want to make sure you're drinking um, a lot of water. So that's number two. To go number two is, <laughs> whoops, uh, is to um, drink lots of water, stay hydrated. Um, a hydrated GI is a healthy GI. And then number three is our friend, dietary fiber. Now, there are two kinds of dietary fiber. It's insoluble and soluble. So soluble fiber is the kind that can absorb water. It is not better or worse than insoluble fiber. They're just a little bit different. And then insoluble fiber will remain intact um, all the way through your system, and it will help bulk the stool, and it'll help um, have easier and more frequent bowel movements. So um, they're both great for that, and I have in front of me some wonderful examples of some high-fiber foods. Of course, of course, oats. Um, I looked at the label, and these oats are 50% insoluble, 50% soluble, uh, for a total of four grams. So anything, anytime you see four grams or more of, of fiber per serving, you know that's a really high fiber food. This quinoa is a very, very high fiber food. It actually is a seed, quinoa is a seed. Raisins um, and other dried fruits, dates, figs, very, very, very high fiber, good for GI health. Cabbage, another super high fiber food. Um, this is mostly insoluble, um, along with celery and carrots. And then some of the uh, soluble fiber are beans and apples, uh, green beans. Um, it, more insoluble, wonderful, wonderful for fiber, potatoes, wash them of dirt, eat the skins, eat the skins, good vitamins, good minerals, and fiber in the skins, and lentils. Any bean, any legume is going to be a very, very high fiber, high nutrient food. So um, I always say, what do you, what should the main focus of your diet be? Fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, whole grains, oats, quinoa, um, barley, um, brown rice, uh, whole wheat bread, all of these things are very, very high fiber, high nutrient. Typically where you see bright color in nature is where you're going to find lots and lots of natural fiber. You'll also find it in the, in the, in the brown foods. You'll find it in whole wheat bread, in brown rice, in brown beans, and things like that. Um, mushrooms. You'll find fiber in, in all plants, essentially. 
um, all beans, all nuts, all seeds, all legumes, and in many of the grains. Where you won't find fiber is in processed foods. Okay, you will not find a lot of fiber in things that are comes in boxes, bags, packages, plastic, things like that. You just won't find it. So the more you can eat um, from the plant kingdom, the more fiber you will have, the better GI health you will have. And today is all about staying happy and healthy and eating well. And um, I thank you for listening today. My name is Wendy Wesley. I'm a registered dietitian and a nutritionist here in the St. Pete Free Clinic Teaching Kitchen. And I'll be back tomorrow with another um, video and nutrition lesson. And I appreciate you paying attention. Okay. Bye-bye.